So, welcome back. We're at the camp again. Uh, and probably will be here quite some time. Let's speak with the biter again. Uh, look at what your fool dog placed in my pack. <laughs> Great. A putrid, half eaten hare is not something a woman wants to find in her unmentionables. <laughs> Uh, one of the best uh, dialogues with the dog, I think. Uh, he thinks you need more meat on the <laughs> on your bones. That's good. that's that that's that's one. Uh, I have to do it. Sorry, number three. I think I have enough meat where it counts, and I certainly don't need it in my pack. <laughs> the dirty mongrel can have this back there, and tell him not to do it again. Hmm. You heard the lady, don't do it again. You're a war dog, not a <laughs> nursey maid. Great. No, no, let's say it was a gift. Let, let's, let's stay on the dog's side. Uh, it was a gift. You can't just throw it away. I just did. Right. I don't want it, you worthless fur bag. Ah, <laughs> oh, seems no one likes the dog. You're a mean lady. Oh, he's just trying to be manipulative, I can tell. I do it too. <laughs> right. Uh, fortunately, with the dog, there is no problem with approval. Okay, Alistair. What do you need? Uh, do you want to talk about Duncan? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. Uh, good, I don't want to... <laughs> You're falling apart again. Don't worry. So long as we're looking at taking down that bastard Loghain, I won't be losing any sleep at night. And quite frankly, I regret you ever seeing me fall apart. I wish you hadn't been there at all. Let's just get going, shall we? Well, minus five again. <laughs> yeah, he won't like me, though. right? Right? He's already minus thirty. What do you need now? Oh, I think he's starting to be more annoyed when I speak with him. Never mind. Okay, Liliana, tell me something. Because I bought you a new armor, so at least be good to me, right? Yes. Uh, well, I have to talk? here I am. Mm. Uh, what was life like in the Chantry's cloister? Quiet. It was a little for contemplation. In the cloister, away from the fuss and the flurry of the cities, I found peace. And in that stillness, I could hear the Maker. But it was not perfect. Some of my Chantry fellows were condescending. That is the nature of religious folk, I suppose. Uh, that's why I'm not particularly fond of them. When I talked about my beliefs, that the Maker reveals himself in the beauty of his world, they treated me with disdain. They want to believe that he's gone, so that right. when he turns his gaze on them, it means they are special, chosen. He cannot possibly have love for all, the sick and the weary, the beggars and the fools. Uh, I prefer your, your ideas of the, uh, of the ideas of the Chantry. Uh, I don't really want the Maker looking in on me anyway. Maybe I am wrong. But it is the Maker's place to decide if I am worthy, not men, not the Chantry. That's but right. there is work to be done, or rather, and I, I have talked enough for now. And... oh... no approval. Alright. Uh, let's speak with Morrigan. What can you tell me? Okay. What do you wish of me? I would like to If you, you must. Uh, can you teach others to become strong? No, that's for later. <laughs> Is Flemeth really what she seems to be? <laughs> well, that depends, does it not? What does she seem to be? Uh, not the old bat. Powerful Maleficarum. You mean, is she truly the Flemeth of legend and story? Yes. Tell me, how much do you know of the tale? The one that the Chastened still tell of my mother? To frighten them into obedience. Uh, I've heard a little. Spare me the bedtime stories. Uh, 
I'm more interested in the truth. Uh, spare me the bedtime story. <laughs> Tis no child's tale, I assure you. I can relay what Flemeth once told me herself, and you can decide whether or not tis the truth, if you desire. Okay. That sounds interesting. As the tale is sung by the bards, there was a time when Flemeth was young and beautiful. Not true. A fair lass in a land of barbarian men, the desire of any who saw her. <laughs> Not true, then. No, quite true. But this part only. The tales say that Flemeth fell in love with Osen the Bard right. and fled the castle of her husband, the dread Lord Conobar, and that he swore vengeance for her infidelity. Of course. In truth, my mother claims that twas Osen who was her husband, and Conobar the jealous lord who looked on from afar. Lord Conobar approached young Osen and offered him wealth and power in exchange for his lovely wife. And Osen agreed. Interesting idea. Uh, he sold his wife to another man. The life of a bard is a poor one, and love fades in the wake of hunger. It was Flemeth who suggested the arrangement. Right. All would have been well had Lord Conobar kept his end of the bargain. But he was a foul man who bargained with coin he did not possess. Osen right. was led off to a field and slain, left for dead. Flemeth spoke to the spirits and learned of the deed, and swore revenge. That's even greater. Uh, he spoke to demons? Spirits first, and twas they who slew Conobar. Flemeth did not turn to the demon until... much later. Lord Conobar's allies chased Flemeth, you see. Chased her to the wilds, and there she hid. There she found the demon, and he made her strong. Cool. The legends all speak of the great hero Cormac, he who defeated Flemeth and her great army when she invaded the lowlands centuries later. All lies. Mm. Of course, Flemeth would say that. You would be surprised at how little my mother cares for what I or others think of her past. The truth of the matter is that there was never an invasion. As Flemeth tells it, the Chastened never raised an army under her banner, and she never fought with any warrior named Cormac. Cormac right. led a brutal civil war against his own people, and later claimed it was to vanquish evil that had taken root amongst the lords. Thus, he was hailed a hero. Flemeth was only attached to the legend much later. Perhaps it was due to the great war with the Chastened that eventually came, but Mother claims not to know how it began. Greater. Uh, an interesting story, though. Uh, how is it that Flemeth have survived for the so long? The demon within her has transformed her into something else. An abomination, perhaps, some would say. I know not. I only know my mother is clever, and she is part of the wilds as it is part of her. Great. But she is no immortal. She bleeds. A blade in her heart would kill her like any other. Were it lucky enough to find her. Cool. Do you believe her version? I do not believe everything that Flemeth claims. Oft it seems her bitterness has colored her memories. But on the whole, right. yes, I believe this tale, if not all. Uh, thanks for the story. Flemeth tells it with far more embellishment than I, but you are welcome. Dare I ask of your own mother? Few are abominations of legend, mm, right. tis true, but I find myself curious, nevertheless. Died a long time ago, there is nothing really to say. I love her. Keep your curiosity. My, my mother died a long time ah, ago. Then you have my sympathies for what it is worth. Which is very little, I am certain. It matters not. Let us move on. Yep. Oh. She disapproves. I don't know. What did I tell? Oh, well, anyway, it's 13. It doesn't really matter. Uh, there is a lot of these that you can take. Uh, I'll speak with Levy later. And now we have to move on. I'm not where to go. First of all, we have to choose. How does yes. the Liliana Indeed. Morrigan? Indeed. Or rather... Oh, let's blast it. Let's try maybe the dog. Oh, blast it. Yeah, let's try it like this. 
And yeah, we are somewhere here. And we can go to Honleith or back to Radcliffe. Or I was suggesting that I will go to Orzammar. Hmm. To be honest, uh, let's go to let's go to Honleith. Uh, I will. I doubt I will be able to uh, deal with everything here, but anyway. Only it is, but first it seems we will have an encounter anyway. Oh yeah, I know. I believe that will be Zevran now. He will be hired. Uh, wolves. Uh, so no right. And get them. Head here. Morrigan, move closer. I shall do it. Right. Uh, oh yeah, Con of Cold. No, no, no. Here and try. Let's try Con of Cold like this. By the way, Biter. Stunned. <laughs> right. Uh, let's try to make power. Shattered. Right. Yeah. And Morrigan is dead. Liliana. Mm. Where are the bombs? Do I have bombs again? Oh, Acid Flare is the only one. I will use it. I can just create Venom and Death Root Extract. Uh, anyway, let's do them. Now, oh, yeah. Now throw this somewhere. Ah, oh, damn it. Here. Wait. Ready. Move. Get them. Yes. Drink. I'll do it. Still no, but wait. I believe Tilinia. No, she's not able to use it. Damn it. Head. Uh, no. Make a crap. Drink. Attack. Some of these things, no, you can't. Again. Lovely. Uh, everyone falls for the traps. As you desire. Uh, we have to take these wolf pelts because they will be useful. Lovely. We can sell these. Uh, I was thinking that maybe we should. Lovely. Trap triggered, of course. Uh, so, if, well, anyway. Now everyone will have uh, an injury of the of them. But anyway, let's As just move you on. Desire. We move to Honleith. Uh, Honleith is a, s a small uh, village. And to be honest, there is not much to do there. 
but there is a very good helmet there and that helmet will be very useful and <laughs> to be honest all other characters that I uh, played this game with all of them they ended up with that one particular helmet on the head and I believe Telinia will end will, will also have it on her head uh, take this people are fleeing and Genlocks of course from all the things in the world Make it to the column. Uh, even considering the fact that they will attack us, but I would like to try them, to try luring them I again. Shall. Yeah, come, come on, come on. By the way, unlock this. Move this here. Sorry, I, I'm just a perfectionist. I, I, I'm perfectionist, purist, call, I don't know really what, what to call it. I just have to... Need, uh, uh, everything must be, in, must be in order. I try to be mess! Uh, Telinia... Nope, not exactly what I was hoping for. Watch out! Yeah, shattering. Shattering is very good. You fall for Too easy! Get this guy. As you desire. Of course. Well <laughs> Wink. <laughs> All right, on the Tuesday. You killed the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speed this up a little bit. There's Olaf's Lovely. chest. I believe the the helmet might be there, but uh, I need a key. Uh, this game is. Uh, just look at the environment. It's really nice. As Small you desire. Highland village. And it really looks like one. Uh, now we will have a problem because uh, up there there will be much, much more difficult fighting. Uh, birds. Uh, okay, what is it here? Yeah, that shale is standing up there. Liliana, can you do anything more than um, death extract? Okay, let's try Morrigan. Can you do something for us? Mabori Crunch. Let's go this. Health Potion. Uh, double Mabori Crunch. Let's create some of these. Lesser Health Potion. Uh, even to the end. And Lyrium Potion. Yep. Uh, now, Liliana, you... What? I sold the crystal dragon. Okay. Uh, I believe it can appear again. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, oh, well, anyway. Uh, you use some things on your weapons so you will deal more 
damage. Uh, any other things here? And yeah. Or maybe I used two times. Uh, whatever. Greenstone, wolf pelt, acid coating. We can also use this one. Now, Morrigan. Uh, I see. By the way, can we. No. Uh, still too important. Biter. Mabari Crunch, but we will also take on. Where is the double Mabari Crunch? Here. <laughs> and let's move. Here they come! Come on, come on. Uh, I will try to lure them as well, because I really don't want to fight with all of them. Mm -hmm. Lovely! Even the one. And so Let us out. end this! Tear them apart! Huh. Yeah. Ready! Be careful! You cannot win! And how's that? Here! <laughs> if your time is violent and revolution, sometimes. Great. Lovely. Emissary here. Is I don't that like emissaries. Oh, yes. oh, oh, oh my! Right. Anyone here on the side? No. It's no done. Mm, not good. Oh, you should have what you can. Lovely. I never liked this part. I never like this part. Get them. Let's end this. This guy. Well, all right. Great. Lovely. Allow me. I could Liliana, do that for you. Open this. Cool. Uh, the best uh, when it comes to loot, the best person well, is right. always uh, a rogue, uh, because now I always have to. Oh, there's a villager here. What do you have? Oh, the key, so I will be able to go down and take... Lovely! And uh, the whole city is just one big uh, cellar later. Well, all right. Take this. This. Anything more here? There's a note here to read. Reading is nice. Hamlet Village Council, yeah, and now we come to our stony friend. I'm not sure if uh, I will. Well, you'll see. Big stone statue with a lot of diamonds. Inert. Okay. It looks like, like a golem, doesn't it? An actual golem and not a statue at all. I wonder how it ended up here, of all places. <laughs> On a closer inspection, you see that the statue is embodied with numerous crystals, some of them cracked. It may be of dwarven make. Let's try activating the golem Dulef Gar. And of course, nothing happens. Either the rod is not working, or the code is incorrect. Actually, the second one. Uh, but before we go... Oh, can I do something with this? Well, I don't think so. No, nothing. Uh, then before we go down, there is still Hurlock Alpha to take uh, 
corpses here. And I believe that the key is for this chest. Yes. Oh, and no, there is not here. <laughs> there is the Olaf Price cheese. So we can move north. Ah, too much walking. And we will have to go... Where is the... Enter... Here. Uh, before we go down there... Um, oh. I have dexterity too low. Liliana has enough. And... Yes, it is better than this enchanted dagger. The enchanted dagger will go to. Will, I will sell it later. Morgan. Not you. Yeah, frost weapons are okay. Let's go down. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if I will be. Uh, if I will end this recording with the the actual. Uh, I doubt that I will be able to do Honleaf from the beginning to the end during this recording, but anyway. Yeah, crystals are here. Take it. Allow me. I could Try do that it. for you. Long sword, iron grain, great. Now we can move uh, closer here. And you know, uh, I, I doubt that I will have enough time. Sorry, uh, sorry. That's enough for now. Thanks for watching. That was nice. Uh, in the next recording, I will hope I will end uh, the whole thing with uh, Hanleaf. See ya. Bye.